So you guys have given me a bunch of new myths to check out in Jailbreak. And just like usual, we're going to see if those myths are true or false. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into this. So first myth here, if you crouch underneath a landing airdrop, you'll be able to access the airdrop without being shot by the NPCs. All right, I'm underneath the crate. Let's do this. So I'm here underneath the crate. I'm holding E and it does not seem like the NPCs know where I am. Okay, this is quite cool. Yeah, as you guys could see, they're just facing that way and they do not know where I am. This is actually kind of cool and helpful because if you ever find like a crate that's in the middle of the air, you could just line yourself up underneath it and you could just easily access it from the bottom. So yeah, that myth is in fact true. If you put yourself underneath a landing airdrop, you'll be able to access it without the NPCs knowing where you are. So this next myth takes place over here at the jewelry store. And the myth is the speedrun trick at the jewelry store on the left side of it still works in the January update. All right, let's see if this is true or false. I think it should work based on how close that is to the glass behind it. Or actually, no, they pushed it back quite a bit. I'm not really sure if this will work, but let's just Go over here let's see if this works and yes all right the speed run trick in the jewelry store does still work maybe they put in like a little thing over here at the turn in place where it doesn't let you turn it in until okay never mind it still works you could still speed run the jewelry store using that trick so our next myth here is if you have the takedown police contract as a criminal you could just kill criminals as a police and it would also somehow count now unfortunately i don't have this contract and i don't really want to spend any of my money because I'm trying to save it right now. But I do know that this myth is in fact true because when I had one of those contracts myself, I did it on the other team and it did work. And actually, I believe it works on a few other contracts too. I'm not really sure which ones, but it definitely works. Anyways, next myth, you could skydive while climbing ladders and it's recommended on the jetpack tower, which I'm on top of right now. All right, but let's go ahead and try this out. Let's go ahead, jump off, skydive onto the ladder. What the heck is going going on okay i am like sonic right now this is weird dude look at this i'm like sonic climbing these ladders look at how fast i'm going i bet if i touch the ground i'll literally die so i don't want to do that but this is kind of weird now what happens if i press the space bar okay now i'm just kissing the wall okay this is great and then if i jump while doing it i just start going incredibly fast upwards okay that is really weird and i also think they completely broke the skydiving because whenever i jump off <laughs> It's not even putting me in the skydive position. Okay, this game is probably broken at this point. But yeah, that myth is in fact true. If you skydive onto a ladder, you will be able to climb it and actually go up and down on the ladder. All right, so our next myth here is you could dodge the CEO arm with the riot shield. So I got the SWAT shield right here and we're going to go ahead and try this out now. And actually, this was my first time doing the CEO battle as a police officer. So I'm wondering if anything changes when you're doing it on the opposite team all right so before i can actually test this i will have to get rid of the first wave of npcs there you go just spam the grenades and most of them are dead let's just kill off these last people here pistol them down right there last person too and there we go we are done now let's see there we go no the shield does not protect you from his arm that is not gonna work see as you guys just saw that myth is false now next myth if three or four people launch the force field launcher onto the mansion crate the npcs can't kill you now i'm pretty sure this is false because bedemo did make it so that you cannot place force field launchers near the airdrops but just in case i'm gonna go ahead and find an airdrop and i'm gonna see if we could even place a force field on it all right so i found an airdrop and let's go ahead and see if i could put a force field on top and no i cannot the force field just went i don't even know where it went so yeah we can confirm that myth is false so our next myth here takes place in the mansion once again and it is you can see for the ceo so let's go ahead and see if this is true or false let's just run at the ceo here he's not going to attack me until i attack him so let's just throw c4 on his arm okay you can't even put c4 on him that's good to know he's like a soap bar you put something on him it just slips straight onto the floor all right but let's go ahead blow this up will he ragdoll no he won't now he just calls in those npcs and i'm probably gonna die will i die though no i did not okay i'm just gonna battle this guy then i want the free sixteen thousand dollars you know who wouldn't 
Anyways, next myth. Place a C4 exactly on the back of a car and the car will gain a speed boost. 10 gives a huge boost. All right, I'm gonna put C4 on the back of the car just like that. Let's go ahead, get in, detonate it at the same time. Okay, that's a pretty good speed boost. All right, I managed to get two C4 on the back of my car. So let's go ahead and try this with both of those. Let's go ahead, do it. There we go, immediately 200 miles per hour, just like that, really, really good. So yeah, that myth is true. If you put C4 on the back of your car and you detonate it while you're in the driver's seat, you will get a pretty good speed boost. All right, so next myth here, the Bloxy's turn speed has been buffed. All right, let's spawn in the Bloxy and see if this is true or not. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got the Bloxy and let's see if it actually got buffed. So we're here on a corner and let's do the turn. Okay, that is really, really good. The turn speed on the Bloxy is probably even better than the snakes. Now look at this. If you're right here on the corner, you could just turn immediately. Look at that. Look at this. You could also immediately turn around on roads. Look at this. If you drift, you could literally turn around instantly. Oh my God. All right, I'm going to try drifting right there in the middle of the city. And we're going to see if I could immediately turn towards the jewelry store. If I can, then the Bloxy is the best at turning in jailbreak now. All right, let's go ahead and use the rocket fuel and let's test this thing. Can it turn immediately? Yes, it can. Okay, this is really, really good. So yes, that myth is in fact true. The Bloxy's turn speed is much better now, and it's also better than the snake, which is pretty cool. Anyways, next myth here, the laser on top of the hype zone has a very bad hitbox. All right, so I'm on top of the hype zone here, and let's see if it has a good hitbox or not. And Okay, I think I know what they're talking about. You literally can't get close to this thing at all because as you guys can see, I'm walking towards it and it just prevents me from going any further. And actually I can climb the thing. Okay, what happens when I'm up here? I am literally floating right now. Okay, that is kind of weird. Now let's see if we can get the bandit on top of it. If we can, then we can safely confirm that these hitboxes suck. Well, we can also confirm my driving skills suck because I just completely flew over it. And it also seems that there's a completely random cube flying in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I've managed to get the bandit on top of this thing. This is really, really weird, and I do not know if I'm gonna fall off, but let's try making our way over here. Will we fall if we come to the edge? Okay, yes we will. At least the hitboxes are that realistic. So yeah, we can confirm that whatever the hell that thing is, is definitely cursed this season. But yeah, those are all the myths I have for this episode of Myth Busting. If you want your myth to be in the next Myth Busting video, make sure to join my Discord server and put a myth in hashtag Myth Busting, and there's a chance it will be in the next video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.